Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out the Metal Gear Solid 3 HD edition. On the Vita, obviously. Like, I, I would hope that's obvious, but... Well, you never know sometimes. So, this is the Vita version of the game, obviously. I've been playing it every now and again for the last little bit. I basically have nothing else to put up, at least until tomorrow. Which is, if I plan on putting this video up, like, tomorrow. So, yeah, it's... This is basically all I got, because I've mainly been stuck into games like Prey. And Prey is fantastic, and I've just been a little bit under the weather as well, and I haven't really been able to put any time into anything else. And I have imports coming in the mail, so... I don't really have that much else to do right now, so we're just going to play my game here. The colours are going to be a little off. It's all just, like, solid, simple colours, at least on this menu, because I have to use the weird mode... That does all the, um, the weird color mode that doesn't cause the kit to freeze up. So, yeah, it's a little weird and annoying. So, you've got a bunch of things to look at in the menu. You have the basic actions, which is actually really useful because they've changed the way the majority of the controls work in this game because of the Vita's limited control scheme. So, you do have that to work with. And you do have a photo album for when you unlock the camera. You do have the options menu, but none of these really need to be changed. You can change the camera mode back to the normal mode, because this is based off the subsistence version, which has the third-person camera. You can change it back to the camera that makes it appear over the top of Snake's head, but it's, there's no real point in doing that. You have the MSX versions of Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2, which is brilliant as well. They've also been retranslated, which is great. You've got briefing files, which are just some cutscenes, and... Unfortunately, it's missing the snake versus monkey thing that was here. That's kind of great because um, the snake versus monkey mode was fantastic and you got some great things for it, but unfortunately it uses Ape Escape license, which it doesn't have anymore. So we're just going to load into my game real quick. I've got two hours into it so far, but I haven't really been doing that much. I've just been running around experimenting, trying to get my memories back because... I have finished Metal Gear Solid 3 three times, and once was when the original version of this came out, so I have been fully versed in the ways of Metal Gear Solid 3, I can tell you that much. And while it is kind of hard to demonstrate why everybody loves the Metal Gear Solid series, or Metal Gear Solid 3 in general, which is considered to be one of the best of them, hopefully I'll be able to do at least a decent demonstration of what's going on here. So... Basic story is, our mentor has betrayed us, they've defected to the Soviet Union, this guy named Volgan blew the fuck out of a research facility using a portable nuclear missile launcher, and we basically have to go and kill his ass. Best way to do that though is not to fuck around with the goddamn giant gators, because <laughs> fucking around with the giant gators is the best way to get yourself killed. But thankfully we can swim around too, and we can actually go underwater if- yeah, here we are. We can go underwater if I remember correctly. And we managed to surface. Brilliant. So, the general idea is that you're going to be stealthing around in this absolutely massive jungle environment. It's a very linear place. There are a lot of places which are literally just straight lines, and then there's a couple of, um... There's a couple of, like, left-right diversionaries that'll come back the same way. Ooh, cutscene. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I... I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. I'm just gonna skip the rest of this, because seriously, the cutscenes in this game are ridiculously long, but that's a small sample of the voice acting. There's a ton of it, and it all sounds great. And even with the, even with the compression to fit on the PlayStation Vita, because the Vita version of the game is only 2 gig, 
even with the compression, it still sounds fantastic. So they've done a really good job with the compression here. In fact, this entire port is really damn good as well. I, I can't bloody remember how to swim forward to save me life, but we'll get we'll fix that up later. Yay, stun grenades and pistol bullets. This is exactly what I wanted for Christmas. But yeah, you have this entire jungle environment to explore, and it's bloody huge. There are... Air, there, there's heaps of wide open areas that you can go to. There's tons of circle buttons that accelerate. There we go. So there's tons of areas you can go to. The whole game itself is pretty linear, but it's not that bad of a thing in the slightest. I just managed to completely skip over that trap, which is fantastic. And in the places, you will find lots of things to do. Whether it be finding plenty of guards to evade or animals to hunt. I really do need to show off the hunting if I find a series of animals. I'm sure I could find some animals. In fact, do I have the right thing in my backpack? I do. Okay, so we have multiple things that we can use here. These are all useful in their own ways and even in ways you might not expect them to be. So if we put on this motion detector, it will show us when something moves. Which is, you know, obvious. But if we were to run along in this ground here... Can we see anything? No, usually there's tons of, like, animals or stuff running around in here. But it does there doesn't appear to be anything right now, which is unfortunate. I would have, I would have liked to have seen, um... That fence is electrified. Let's avoid that. I would have liked to have seen some animals around here. I could have sworn there was some around this part of the part of the map, but I guess not. You can find tons of little animals to hunt. You can find tons of items and weapons and all sorts of things. And they, they all serve as tools to get around the... Oh dear. That's a claymore. Let's avoid that. There, there's another claymore. Let's avoid that. There's a third claymore. I have a mine detector, I really should have been using it. I am so luck lucky I didn't get the ship blown out of me. Now if I can just get off this tree, thank you. I can just crawl out of this, can't I? Yep, claymore, hooray! Another claymore, hooray! All the different areas of this game are handcrafted and they all, they're all great. They all have their own little unique challenges to do. Which is awesome. Even just that little swamp that we just got out of back there has a ton of little things you can do. You can um, fight and kill the crocs. Best way to kill those crocodiles? They might be alligators. I'm not going to claim to know for sure. Is you literally just throw a grenade in their mouths. They swallow it, it explodes, and you can pick up the food they drop. And all the little animals and stuff in this game do that. And it's great. Let's go have a look around. Oh, there's a guard there. Of course, Metal Gear Solid is a game famous for its stealth, and so we are going to have to try and be stealthy. There are multiple ways we can take out this guard. Thankfully, I actually have a lot of stuff in my backpack that, that can help me out with this. So if we go to my backpack, I can equip all sorts of weapons and different things that I can use to... um. Different things that I can use to distract this guy, so... I'm going to distract him using one of my favourite methods, personally. How far can I throw this? Huh? What's that sound? Well, I'm getting hungry. That's not good. Because he can actually hear that stomach rumbling. So, he sees the food. Will he eat it? There's nothing here. Apparently not. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, so I might as well show off this menu here. This is where you come to change a few things, like for example, your camouflage. You have tons of different kinds of camouflage, and they are all useful in different areas. So I can put on the tree bark here, and a different face camo? No, I think my face camo is good actually. And this will determine how visible you are. You can see how visible you are in the top right all the time, which is good. But you do have to come into the menu here to change things, which isn't so good. You have... You have plenty of equipment and weapons you can carry around. But you can only carry around a certain amount at one time. 
And the more you carry around, the faster your stamina drains. Now, my stamina isn't draining that fast on purpose. It's because I have leeches on me. Guess what going through that swamp does to you? So now to remove my leeches, I burn them off with a lit cigar. So I just took the leeches off me. You use this to actually cure some injuries you get. If you get into a gunfight or whatever, you can come in here and take care of all of them, which is great. And you can also come here and eat food, including a clear product placement, which is kind of funny actually, but you can actually capture a ton of different kinds of animals and eat them. So if I eat the Indian Gavial, I actually get a fair bit of my stamina back. Can't complain. So I can do that. And it, now that I've got more stamina, my health will come back and stuff like that. But even better, there's tons of radio conversations in this game. So if I was to talk to Paramedic, for example. You say there are attack dogs? Those attack dogs are Great Danes. The breed is originally from Germany. They've been used for hundreds of years as hunting dogs. As you can see, they're very large. Strong, too. They've got a calm yet courageous temperament. And on top of that, they're extremely intelligent. In some cases, a trained Great Dane can be more dangerous than a human opponent. Watch out for them. Interesting. Forget it, Snake. Forget what? You were thinking about how they taste, weren't you? I wasn't thinking... Don't lie to me. I could tell by the look on your face. You can't see my face. No, but I can imagine it. <clears throat> Don't you dare think about trying to capture an attack dog. <clears throat> you hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the conversations in this game are fantastic. There's a ton of them, too. Like, you have a ridiculous amount of conversations. There's a conversation for everything. All the food you can eat. All the weapons you have. All the events in the story, all the bosses, everything. It's all fully voice acted, it's really well done, and I cannot help but love it to death. The amount of detail there is in this game just beggars belief. Like, hell, even this guard here. If I can get close to him. On the little island in the southern swamp, a bizarre crocodile. Speak. There are guys who know alert cancellation frequencies. Answer me. Bastard. And you can... You have tons of those little interrogation things that you can do, and they actually give you um, gameplay benefits. Like being able to call in on a frequency and cancel the alert. There's some healing radio frequencies which will play some weird music. Those are fucking great. There's just the amount of detail there is in just the presentation alone is fantastic. But even the gameplay has a bunch of stuff. Like, you can blow up their hut of supplies in this nearby area and you can use the fact that the guys would probably be getting hungry to throw them poisoned food. They'll eat it and they will die. And there's just a bunch of other things like that. It just gets ridiculous. Thankfully, I don't care too much about, about being non-lethal in this run, so I'm more than willing to show off a little bit of gunplay. Alright. Oh, also, if I shoot this guy's radio... Oh, I killed him. Oh, well. So, um, gunplay in this game is very... What's the word? Poor doggy. Um, gunplay in this game is very odd in the sense that it's a game from 2004. So, the only thing you can really do is... There's only a couple of ways you can go about it. You can either hold the L button, walk out... And fire like crazy. Except I'm not really firing like crazy because I'm not on burst fight. I'm, I'm on I'm on, I'm on single shot. 
Or you can go into first person mode and aim and shoot like this. I just shot that guy in the balls. I'm gonna search these guys for resources. I need the I need the supplies. Because actually picking them up and dropping them actually drops out supplies for you. Unfortunately, that's not what I was really looking for supplies for. I need bloody AK-47 ammo, damn it. It's mainly designed so that um, they actually drop more resources when you um, knock them out, by the way, not kill them, which is fantastic. Um, <laughs> there's just a bunch of things just in this game. It is a very linear game. It is a simple game. There are a bunch of other things, and I'm going to be going until the first boss fight, because there are boss fights, and the boss fights in this game go from anything from ludicrous to absolutely fantastic. So yes, this is probably one of my favorite areas in the, in the entire game, just because of how many things you can do in it. We have guards wandering around, we have a resource hut to blow up, we have bases we can go inside, there's items all over the place. You never know what you're going to do or how you're going to do it until you get there, really. And you can, you can spend all you like uh, just outside watching their patterns and seeing what you can do and just... There's just so much stuff, basically. There's just... It is a very linear game. It is more or less one direction that you can take the story in, but... Just with the amount of ways you can go about it is something that... Doesn't really get seen in games these days, before or since, and it's fantastic. I better take this tree, tree bar camo off, because I'm not... I'm not exactly invisible with it on right now. Uh, does it tiger? Really? Okay. You can also have a look at the options of the map here, and there is, um, things you can do. Like, you can get all these guys to show up on the map or whatever, and, um, that's not what I intended to do. All right, I'm going to use my um, tranquilizer gun for this. I want to get some information off this guy if he has anything worth knowing. How did I miss? There we go. The tranquilizer gun makes this game a little bit too easy, in my personal opinion, but at the same time, it's there if you want it. And I'm only playing on normal. If you play on a really high difficulty, you don't get this by default, which is kind of nice. Okay, what, what do you have? AK-47 ammo. And what's that? Another suppressor for my Mark 22. Awesome. Alright. I want to wake this guy up. So if I just hit him in the face enough... He should wake up. There we go. Now I grab him. And now I can interrogate him. Speak. In this area... Speak. There's something good. Speak. If you want to learn more, take a look at the survival viewer map. Alright. Where is my special item? That's a lot of items. Holy shit. Alright. So he just told me where every item in this area is. You can do that with enemies and stuff as well, which is fantastic. Whoop. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I am a... I am a rock. I am a giant rock. The AI in this game, I admit, is not particularly smart. Huh. You can peek out from behind ledges and stuff as well, but I'm actually quite visible here, so as soon as he turns around again, I'm not going to be able to see anything, which is kind of unfortunate. Now, I could try and get in there, because that helicopter will actually show up later if I don't get in there and do something about it, which is actually a really nice touch. And you can get in there and do something about it. I just completely failed that magazine throw. But I don't want to do things the same way every time, just because there are so many different ways you can go about it. So, let's equip stuff. No, this is the, that's the camouflage menu. No, I don't want to go all the way back, damn it. Okay. Don't think we're going to need much of that, but whatever. Um, let's get a stun grenade out. 
And yeah, everything else can stay. Wish I had the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle in this game is great. It really lets you effectively clear stuff, but you don't get that till later. Uh, there is a bunch of different weapons you can get. A bunch of pistols. You can get um, a gun that has literally infinite ammo because the ammo belt is an infinity symbol. It's fantastic. There's um, God, there's just so many other different kinds of weapons. All right, you get to eat stun grenade. Huh? I'm gonna take out, you know, I'll take out my knife as well. This game has a weird thing with its knife. The knife is actually used via the rear touchpad, which is very unusual. You can use it, well, not entirely via the rear touchpad, but you can use it to stab people. So if I was to, if I was to come up here, and do this. I think that guy just think I, I think I just stabbed that guy in the balls. Not fantastic. What's wrong? What's wrong? Wait for him to get closer. Oh come on, how many times do I have to stab you in the leg before you die? You know, screw it. Uh, you get, you're gonna get shot a couple of times. Right, where are you? Obviously, you're not meant to get seen. Ow! Oh Jesus, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! And I just touched the electric fan, so I get thrown back. And I'm going to die. Open the door. Get inside. Do I have anything that I can do? Suffering some from severe burns, I might as well. Got some gunshot wounds. No, I want to. I want to stop the burn treatment. That's another burn, isn't it? No, it's a gunshot wound, and that's and that's a deep cut. Brilliant. Thankfully, I do think I have life medicine, which I can use. And I'm going to do exactly that, actually. Let's do that. So I'm going to use that life medicine. There we go. Now, we're going to do something neat. We're going to use the fake death pill. Yes, this is actually the game over screen. But now he thinks I'm dead. The door's gonna close behind him. And I'm gonna revive myself. Ha! I win. Oh, that's a fantastic trick to pull. And you know what the funny thing is? You can use that on the final boss, and she doesn't fall for it. It's fantastic. There's just so many little things, so many different ways to play. It even controls really well. The... The control scheme itself, well, it's obviously a game from, like, 2004, right? This game is, like, 13 years old. It's silly. It's really s silly, just how old this game is. And the fact that it still manages to be so enjoyable, even with this control scheme, like... You can't crouch walk, it's either standing or crawling. You have to... You have to control the camera very slowly. There are points in the game where it does feel... Really... What's the word I'm looking for? Where it does feel just... Really odd. But... Once you get used to the controls, and you have a lot to get used to the controls to, thanks to all those... Tutorial videos in, in the basic actions menu. It's just... It really is just wonderful. Just how... Replayable this game still is. 
All right, you. The stalk on over. Speak. If the provision storehouse is destroyed, answer me. The machine gun with the action button. Speak. There are guys who know alert cancellation. Yeah, I already heard that one. Thanks a lot, mate. You just told me that I can do this. Unfortunately, I can't turn it around, so I can't fire away at anybody who decides to come at me from the other direction. But, oh well. There's another building over here too, but there's a guy in front of it. What can we do to make this interesting? Whoop, never mind, I got seen. <laughs> oh man, I don't know where that came from, but... Yeah, you die. I already shot him a couple of times, but... Oh well. Oh hi. Oh, I shot his radio away Yes, you can shoot their radio out as they're about to call in for help, and... If you do that, they won't be able to call for help, obviously. Oh dear. How am I going to get out of this one? Well, I mean, I do have a couple of these. Oh dear. Luckily I have CQC. Ow. Ow again. Alright, oh, right, right, okay. Takes care of that problem. So this is the provision storehouse. Life phosphorus grenade. TNT. AK-47 bullets. Wonderful. Let's blow the shit out of this. Actually, no, we're not going to blow the shit out of this. We're going to blow the shit out of something else. No, can't equip the white phosphorus grenade, unfortunately. I can, however, equip the TNT. How much TNT do I get? Five. That's all right. That there. Have they brought in reinforcements? Can't see from here. If I run around here though, I should be okay. Hang on, get a little closer. Nope. About there. HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. Of the intruder. Whoop, there's a guy. There's a guy right there. I see him. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Okay, the enemy is still nearby. That's interesting. So they know I'm here. Let's do something about that. Where's my TNT? Here's my TNT. Alright, so now that I've drawn their attention... Mostly... I can use this opportunity to get the hell away from here. Is it? 
Yep, he knows I'm here. Let's just make our way out of this area now. There we go. That's a problem solved. Now I just have to figure out where the bloody hell I'm supposed to go from here. Thankfully, I've got a map. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go up. So let's go up. I don't see anyone. Doesn't matter though, up we go. Now if I remember yep, this is exactly what I th thought it was going to be. Enjoy the cutscene. Ah, you're here at last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Twice now, you've made me taste bitter defeat. I hate to disappoint the Cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. You and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. They prefer to hunt alone. So now we're in a duel with Ocelot, and anyone who had played Metal Gear Solid 1 before this game will be having fangasms at this point, but then again, if you've played Metal Gear Solid 1 and haven't played Metal Gear Solid 3, you poor bastard. So it's just, oh man, I cannot tell you just how wonderful this game is. I might as well talk about the performance and all that first up. I just need to um, finish healing myself up, which is a wonderful thing to do. But there you go. So, the cutscenes aren't the best performed part of the game, I'll admit that. Kind of annoying, actually, just because... Kind of annoying that just because of um how the rest of the port performs, which is great. It's just a problem with the cutscenes because their performance sometimes tends to drop below what's what I would consider acceptable. And the lip syncing is a little off. But, otherwise, it really is quite wonderful how well it performs. The people who boarded this did an absolutely fantastic job. Metal Gear Solid 2 is on exactly the same level, so... Had enough yet? Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff we can do while we're here, including this. Hi. That's not what I meant to do. Let me up, please. Come out and face me. Oh. What's the matter? Damn it, Ocelot. Yes! It's the heart of a duel. I love how he, he challenges you to a duel. 
Right in the middle of the boss fight. Oh, you evil bastard. You won't get away from me. You can even take these guys out by a stamina kills using the Mark 22 pistol, which will actually get you se several special rewards, which is fantastic. You can even do this with um some of the um you can even do this with normal enemies as well, but in this game it's just twice as special. It's just it's wonderful just how many different ways you can play around with these. You can do you can kill them with like stun grenades and stuff too. I still have my stun grenades, don't I? Uh, no, I don't. I have to go and get them out of my backpack. But there are several bosses in this game that you can do special tricks with. Like the fear is another boss. You can actually put poison food on the ground for him to eat and use that to stamina kill him. If you're fighting the end, you can you, you can sneak up behind him and knock him out using stun grenades and stuff like that. Or you can fight him in a full-on sniper battle. Or you can track him down using something like thermal goggles. It's just the amount of crap. Like, here, look at this. I forgot this was a thing, but now I remember, so here we go. Now they can't see, I can literally shoot down a beehive. You see, now he's distracted. Now he's distracted, I can shoot him in the face. Not bad. Ow. I've never felt a tension like this before. That's so different from simply changing a clip. This reload time is exhilarating. This is just fun. It is fun just having a a pistol to pistol duel with Ocelot, a sniper duel with the end, a bloody flamethrower versus oh shit run away duel with the fury. It's great. Look, now he's now he's running off to reload. So if I figure out where he's going to reload, unfortunately I think he's reloading behind a rock, which kind of sucks for me. But that's so different from simply changing a clip. It is entirely possible to get him while he's reloading. It really is quite wonderful. Just these, all these little details, all these little things. Like, if I were to go into the codec menu right now, which is where you go to save and stuff like that, I can talk to these guys and I'll have something to say about him. Snake, the only way to proceed is to fight. You have to def- Yep, you'll have to shoot him then attack him with first person view. Uh, what does Sigan have to say? That guy is Details about his weapon, arc. which you can it's actually get if you beat the game once or twice. Just the ones. What does paramedic have to say? Snake, oh, she's warning me that I need to heal up. What else? Ocelot's pistol uses really powerful bullets, and he's a crack shot too. So if he yep. hits you, you... Yep, they've all got shit to say about all the bosses. It's just... It's linear as all hell. You, you go through the same place. Sometimes you'll have to backtrack. Alright, come on, jewel me. Huh? Aw. Oh, you're not gonna jewel me? How rude. How rude, Ocelot. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, there's a snake here. Actually, let's do something neat with that snake. I know something we can do with that snake. Let's do something with it. Alright. So what we can do is if we tranquilize it instead of killing it, which I just did. 
I just picked up a snake. So now what I can do with that snake is equip it as a weapon and throw it at him. Let's do that. Because we can do that. There is literally no reason for us not to do this. Uh, oh, we also have spoiled food here. We have a bunch of spoiled food, which is unfortunate. But we have a snake. So I'm going to wait for my opportunity. I'm going to let him get close to me. And I'm going to throw the snake at him. This reload time is exhilarating. You can even see how many bullets he's got left. Which is a nice touch. He's even doing that old reflect bullets trick, which is... Ow. Which is neat. You have plenty of higher difficulties to play on as well, which is... Awesome. I just completely missed that shot. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. That does actually work, and it does actually scare... Scare troops if you do that to them, so... It's a shame. Oh, hang on, I can try again. Hopefully it's still there on my list. It's not. I'm going to have to go and re-equip it, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to re-equip it. I'll re-equip it. I'm going to pull this off. I swear to God, I'm going to pull this off no matter what I do. That was actually King Cobra too, so hopefully this time I won't throw it ridiculously far like an idiot and I might actually pull it off. Oh, even better. Stun him, then do it. Loading like this. It's a revolution. God, look at him reload. Where'd my stun grenade go? Damn it! See my technique? It's perfect. Where is he? I can't see him. Shit. There he is. Come on, you. Damn! Ah. I guess he can't be affected by it, but I know the regular troops can. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on. You're all talk, huh? All right. Let's just finish him off. I'll, I'll make it a little bit easier on myself. Tried to do a little bit of matrix dodge there. Didn't work out too well for it. Too well for you, did it, buddy? heaps of other difficulties you can play as well that make the game a lot harder and of course there is the whole big boss challenge to do at the end where it's literally kill no one use no healing items no continues no deaths no alerts damn it he found us Impressive magnum spinning if he can literally kill every bee
you were lucky. We'll meet again. You were lucky, he says. And now that we've fallen into a cave, we're kind of stuck down here. But there's a bunch of neat things about this cave as well. Like, the longer you stay in here, the more your eyes will adjust to the light so you can see further. There's a bunch of animals in here that you can't get any other way. There's unique Kodak conversations. There's all sorts of shit. It's just... It, this game is wonderful. It plays like a game from 2006, but it's a wonderful game. It's extremely detailed. It tells an excellent story. It's... I, I cannot praise this game enough. I really can't. You should... Thankfully, you can actually get this game separate from the Metal Gear Solid HD collection if you don't want to buy Metal Gear Solid 2 as well, but that's still a very good damn game in and of its own right. So, yeah, I fully recommend Metal Gear Solid 3 HD Edition, and if you haven't bought it yet, why not? It's it's bloody brilliant. It really is. It's fantastic. I really don't have much else to say about it. I'd love to just continue playing this game. I always thought to myself, if I was going to do a Let's Play of a game... Well, not always, but I mean, if I, I thought to myself, if I ever wanted to do a Let's Play of a game and not do a shit, it would probably be Metal Gear Solid 3, but... Oh, well, I don't think I'll be doing that. I do not have the time, but... Yeah, that was just a look at this version of the game. It's great. I love it. Definitely worth your time picking up. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.